Hey guys, uh, I'm going to do a part two on the Hoodoo video. Um, there's a couple of things that I didn't get to, mostly because I wasn't focusing on it. I was focusing on the Hoodoo deployment itself. Um, but as you know, it's very important with your documentation platform and anything that holds critical data, you want to have some sort of backup configured and ready to go. Um, so I figured part two of the video will be to do the deployment again, and this time work on actually doing a backup through easy panel. Again, the idea is for easy management of the platform of the documentation system and allow us to admin it uh, effortlessly, more or less. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to share my screen and we're gonna do this process again from the beginning because I did delete everything. Um, so we're gonna log into Linode and um, again, if you don't have an account and you want to use the node, I'll provide my referral link in the description. Uh, you can use it to sign up. You'll get $100 credit. And we're going to go through and build out our easy panel um, deployment right now so that we can roll out Hoodoo. And I'm going to skip the explanations. If you want to learn how to do it, you can watch the previous video. We're just going to get through this part real quick. And I'm going to do shared four gig, $24 a month. We're gonna do a, um, let's see, password, let's see. Ooh, I deleted it all, so I guess we're not gonna do that. We're gonna make a new one. We will save that, which should take us to our username is root. Let's copy that password and paste it here. And let's keep scrolling and click create the node. We gotta select a region. New York, New Jersey. And while that's happening, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this IP address we just got. I will paste it into here. And we're going to say Hoodoo Demo MGMT root password. This is the root password for Easy Panel itself. Let's click Save. Um, now, if we uh, wait for that to be provisioned, we may as well also start creating our Cloudflare tunnel. We need to grab that, so let's log into Cloudflare. And we want to make sure we grab our, uh, that's booting. We want to get our easy panel set up. So we want to get a password going too. So we're going to come here. Let's go to tunnels. We'll create a new tunnel here. Create a tunnel. This tunnel name will just be we do a demo easy panel. Save tunnel. Uh, we're going to capture that. We're going to need that at some point. We're going to come here and let's just make a new. Well, it would be easier if I can. Get it directly from the interface. Let's see. Hasn't started yet. Oh, nope, hasn't started yet. So now it's just a waiting game. Um, we do need to get the Hoodoo configuration going, so might as well jump to that. And we'll go here, business Hoodoo. And I'm just doing this so that I can get to the URL I need for self-hosting. And here's what we're going to do. So we did rtcg.hostedocs.io. That's the URL. We're going to use local storage again. And we just need all this information at some point. Let's see if this is working yet. Again, I don't have a lot of patience. What else do I need to do to start this stuff in progress? I have that in place. All right, let's just make a new entry in the meantime. Um, easy panel. We do demo admin login. We'll do uh, in this case, well, to make it easy for right now, I'll just do the IP address because um, it'll auto populate. And then we're just going to generate a password here and create that. Okay. Are we up and running here? There we go. That wasn't so bad. And because we populated that, we now have the password already ready to go. We're going to set up. Okay, so we'll create our Cloudflare project real quick. 
and add our service app and tunnel, no domain. We're going to stop that. And this is going to be a rising tide group. This is going to be Cloudflare. This is going to be main build path or slash save that. And then we're going to go to environment. Tunnel token equals, let's go back to our tunnel, copy, paste. We don't need any of this stuff. Save that and deploy. And start. All right, tunnel is up and running. We should see that tunnel now show up here. Yep, we're good. Let's click next. And let's give our um, RTCG dash MGMT uh, hosted docs.io. And uh, in this case, it's going to be HTTP. And it's going to be our public IP address colon 3000. It's 3000 because this is the management plane we're going to. Um, so now we have this route configured. Let's go configure this tunnel. And we should be able to see the public host name here with the route. And we go to it and it loads up easy panel. Nice and easy. All right. So let's go to Persona here. And um, what was that IP address here? There it is. We're going to change this URL to now match this URL. And while we're here, we're just going to copy the password. And we're going to close this out. And we're going to do everything now over this URL because now it's secured over TLS um, and encrypted. So now all our traffic is encrypted and secure, more or less. Um, while I'm here, I may as well go to the firewall, we still have the block all inbound and just uh, add the node to it, which we're doing. Well, I don't remember which one it was because I didn't name it. So <laughs> AC panel US East is what we're dealing with. So we're going to go to our firewall and block all inbound and add the node for AC panel US East. Add. Okay, so now we also want to come back here and change this to, oh, it's already, yeah, that's an existing firewall. Never mind. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so now what we do is we just got to get Hoodoo deployed. Again, pretty simple. We saw this do it before. Follow the same exact steps. We're going to create a Redis and call it uh, Redis, I think. And I'm doing all this by memory now. So if I make a mistake, then uh, I make a mistake. <laughs> and then the next one we're going to do is app. And here we'll do rtcg.hostedocs.io. And we will stop the app at that point. So we've got our Redis and DB. And here, we're going to come here. We're going to take our entire environment file and throw it into easy panel. We need that S back. And then we just want to take, save that. We want to take our uh, database connection string. We want to copy that. And I have clipboard history enabled, so I'm just going to copy both my Redis and database together so I don't have to go back and forth. And my Redis will be my latest one. So I'll just paste that in there. And then up by database, Throw in a couple spaces, use my clipboard history. Again, Postgres is going to be the username. Postgres colon four slash four slash is the protocol. We don't need that. The next part after the colon is the password. This is the database itself. Database name. Oh, no, that's the host name. Sorry. So that's this part right here. HDT underscore DB. And then we have the database, which is Hoodoo 2. So we will paste that and save that. OK. Um, the next part's trickier. I don't know if I know this part by heart. So let's reference my document that 
we have created for this. Um, we do Docker forward slash do latest. We're going to save that. And then we're going to go create our storage because this is where things happen. We can have three volumes under the app here. Uh, public uploads, oops, uploads and app data. And then we have one, that's actually the wrong place. No, no, that's the right place. Two, and then three. And save that. OK. Uh, the mains, we got to come back here, set this to 3,000. Save that. I clicked it too many times. Oops. And everything else, we're good to go and we can start the deployment. So let's hit deploy. While that's building out, let's go ahead and create our other app and this will be the worker. And let's stop that. Domains, we'll set this to zero. Save that. And let's start creating our bind mounts. Two bind mounts, one volume mount, if you remember it from last time. And in this case, it's Etsy easy panel products to do two app volumes uploads. Again, remember that the path is Etsy easy panel and then the projects folder and then the name of the project and then the app, the name of the app that we're dealing with and then the volumes folder and then the name of the volume we want to connect to. So that's going to go here and then we want the path for that is right here. And then finally, we've got the app, which is going to go to app and save that. Now, app should be up and running at this point. Oh, I never started it. OK, let's start it. <laughs> Whoops. And we want to come back here and build our additional host name out. So rtcg.hosteddocs.io. We'll go to uh, HTTP. And let's grab this IP address, paste it in there and save his name. OK. Uh, so that is up and running. RTCG has the docs. This is up and listening. Our domain is in place. Um, let's start our worker. Oop, I never deployed it. Let's stop our worker. <laughs> let's come here, grab our Docker image, come here, paste that in here, save, and deploy. OK, so now we should have that pull the image. And it's loading. Oh, we stopped. We forgot something. Stop that. We're going to have two apps running. Wow, we forgot to add the commands in here for uh, bundle exec side. Let's do that real quick. Command, save. OK, so um, what is that? We did, uh, I don't know how much time that was, but 20 minutes, let's say, give or take. I don't know. Tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, we deployed Hoodoo, and we should have it up and running. So let's take a look. If we come here and launch Hoodoo, and we're at the sign-in page, create account, and it's all working. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and register who do at this point. I don't need to uh, to get to the next part. The question we now have is we have who do up and running. We have our data stored in who do. We have our locations where the data is, look, is stored. How do we now back this up? Which is a great question. Um, if you notice under the database location here, this Postgres, and you scroll down, there's backups built in to Easy Panel. So this will take care of your database backups which you definitely want to do. You want to turn that on. You want to select a destination. You can figure that by going to settings, and then you go to backups, and then you add your destination. And notice this is S3 storage. OK, so um, I've never done this before. And for this is my first time doing it live with you guys, and we're going to see if we can make this work. So we're going to come here, and we're going to create a object storage. 
and um, let's create a bucket. And we're just going to call this Hudu backup. You can use any compatible S3 storage. So that's um, Amazon, obviously, or Azure has object storage or DigitalOcean, and obviously, of course, Linode. Uh, you do want to keep it a little different. So I'm running this in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, we want to do uh, private. This is the um, URL of the access. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Wow. OK, we need our access keys. Let's build it. Let's create an access key here. We'll just call it Hudu Backup, and we'll grant limited access to read and write to Hudu Backup Bucket. OK, let's come here. So our name is going to be very simple. Let's just call it node. It doesn't really matter. The access key is going to be what we need. That's this part right here. And the secret key is right here. Don't worry, by the time this video is live, none of these th things will be valid anymore. Um, Hudu Backup is our uh, bucket. Our region is Atlanta, Georgia, US dash Southeast dash one. Come here, where are you? Let's just put this endpoint in and see if this works. I don't know if a region is required. Um, oh, a region is required. So let's see. I think Linode has some specifics about it. Destination added. Interesting. Don't know if it worked. <laughs> Let's find out. OK, so we'll come here. Let's go to our Postgres database and just select destination node, save that. Let's just try to manual backup and see what happens. Backup is done. Well, let's go in here. I don't know if we can actually view. Oh, we can. Look at that. Who do two? Database. And there's our backup. Very easy. OK, that's easy panel. That's your database backup. So now the question comes up, what about our uh, public? What about our, our photos, our attachments, and images, and stuff like that? Well, that, thanks to easy panel, we have the ability to create a new project. Let's just call it backups. And we can then add a template. There's a one of the existing click one-click deployment options from a template is the duplicati, which we can just leave by with the default information and hit create, go to project. Now again, we're gonna have a similar kind of thing where we need the ability to uh, get to it from the internet and we lock down import inbound ports. So it has to go through Cloudflare. So we need to specify a domain name here. And we're just going to do who do backup uh, dash RTCG dot hosted docs dot IO. OK, we're going to save that. And then the other thing is that we have to do is we need to come to Cloudflare. And we have the Cloudflare tunnel running. So we just need to add a new public host name here. Let's uh, save that in there and go to our clipboard history. Pull that out, paste that in there. And now we have Hudu backup, that's RTCG, hosted docs.io, going to the same IP address as our easy panel. OK. So now we have this new host name up and running. We just need to give it enough time to propagate for DNS. We have this up and running. We're obviously not in Europe, London. You can adjust the time zone in the environment for whatever you need. Um, if you notice, by the way, we, when we were in the template, and I went through pretty quickly, but clicking on it, you do have the option to go into the documentation from here, and you can see exactly what this does. This is a free open source backup client. It securely stores encrypted, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. OK. The only thing is, is that it is a local backup only. So we actually have to create a bind mount here to say, well, we want the same exact volumes. Right, so here we're going to say who do attachments. Uh, we'll call it under um, um, I don't know hosts who do attachments, and let's add another bind mount, and this will be public uploads, which are the images, and we'll call this host who do images. Okay, and save that. 
now we want to redeploy Duplicati. And what we're doing is we're basically saying the volume within the Hudu app gets placed into the volume into the mount path of for slash host for slash Hudu attachments and for slash host to for slash Hudu underscore images. That way, um, we can do a backup of it. It's considered a local path, which is what Duplicati does. Now let's go to the console real quick and just load the bash and see where we are. So we are in root and if we go to root uh, host, and then notice we have Hudu images, and we have Hudu uh, attachments, right? So both of those folders now exist. They both have the uploads and whatnot from Hudu. They're both visible and reachable from the Duplicati container, all right? So looking at our easy panel again, we've got our backups. This is taking care of our file storage or uh, like normally what would go on S3 storage, but in this case is local cache or local drives. And then we have our Cloudflare tunnel and then we've got our Hudu application, which is currently up and running. So let's go here and launch our Hudu backup. And notice we are now in Duplicati's backup. Okay, so now you can say, no, my sh machine only has one single account. And then you can use Cloudflare to protect your backups or you can create backup password here and get it up and running. So we can say, generate a password and it should launch Psono and save that password for me, um, copy password. And then we can save that password here and password. Let's repaste it in there. Sometimes it doesn't like it when you use uh, a password manager to fill in the password field. And now we're basically in this blank backup software platform that's completely free. So we're going to click add a backup. We're going to configure a new backup. And here we want to say who do images or let's just say who do files, right? You can specify encryption and a passphrase. In this case, I'm, for simplicity, I'm going to say no encryption. Click next. And notice that we now have the option to choose which folder we want to back up, right? So we're going to be backing up. Uh, we said it's under host. And then we want to back up who do attachments. Oh, sorry. This is the backup destination. Ooh, getting ahead of myself. We need a backup to S3 compatible storage. Okay. We want to use SSL. Our server is going to be Linode. Uh, in this case, it doesn't exist. So we're going to just go with um, custom server URL. And an endpoint, if I have it still in my yep, US Southeast 1 Linode objects, bucket name is Hudu Backup, right? Was that? Uh, the bucket name, who do backup? Bucket create region is going to be, we can just do custom value in this case because we do know it is Southeast one. Storage class, we're just going to leave that default. Folder pass, we'll just say host to do attachments. Um, path or subfolder in the bucket, let's just say, who do two files. Uh, now we want the access ID, access key, and what client library to use. We're gonna use the Amazon AWS SDK. We just need to grab new access keys. Um, let's go back here for this. So we'll uh, create another access key and here we'll just say, who do backup two. Now you could use the same exact key for both. Um, it's just I didn't save it, so I'm recreating a new one. It's also not technically a bad thing to have separate ones, uh, but let's just see if this works. We'll grab this and this and test connection. No, connection worked. There we go. Click next. And now we choose the folders we want to back up. So under computer, under host, under here, we select who do attachments, who do images, and click next. You choose your backup schedule and what size you want, because they will be split under multiple file fault volumes. And then, so like, uh, depending on the size, if you're going to SharePoint or something like that, because you do have multiple different types, you would do like two gigabytes per volume. Um, 
depending on how much data you're backing up and stuff like that. Here's your backup retention or strategy. You can do custom. You can do smart backup, which will tell you uh, it's default recommended. One backup for each of the last seven days, each of the last four weeks, and each of the last 12 months. So you'll be able to go back uh, one week, or you can go back uh, one month, or you can go back one year. Um, and then you have the ability to configure additional advanced options inside the platform. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Save. And we're going to continue that encryption. And now you see our Hudu files is off. And we're going to run it. And it should be able to take a backup, upload it to S3 storage. And if we go back here and look at our bucket, we should now have additional, well, let's see what happened there. It's waiting for a backup to finish. You may not like the fact that the folder doesn't exist. I don't know. I said, I've never done this before. Um, there's not much there, so it shouldn't take very long. At this point, we're just waiting. We have the Hoodoo 2 folder, the database folder. This is where the database backup happened, and that went much faster. One of my errors occurred. No further return or make requests. Signature does not match. It should be status code forbidden. Okay. So here's all the different files that it tried uploading. So it tried the same one over and over again. Um, let's go back to this backup and see if we can configure, edit, configure, edit the configuration to see what we did here. Let's uncheck use SSL. Still says it worked. And let's run it now and see what happens. It should be pretty quick. So the fact that it's not working is not a great indicator. Um, not only should it be pretty quick, but we should literally see the folder get created almost immediately. Um, we were so close. <laughs> almost another perfect demo. And then of course at the end, it's failing. Uh, can I refresh this? Still nothing. Um, let's see what we can get back. Really quick, if I spend a minute. Mm -hmm. So file name includes ETF figure and encode it. Let's dismiss it. Let's take a look at our configuration again. Let's just see Ooh, here. Edit configuration. Let's see what we did next. So we have S3 compatible storage. Um, and you can see all the various different options you have to back it up. We have Let's use SSL. We're using US Southeast S1, the linodeobjects.com, which is what we worked, which is what worked for. Uh, let's do standard and see if that changes anything. Folder path is who to two files. There's no. See the drive. 
No, oh, hey, okay. Next, next, next. Save. Run now. Oh, shh. Uh, wait, never mind. Looks like that worked for a second, but apparently not. We're still having that problem. Let's come here. Let's show log, remote. Same issue. Where it tries multiple times and then it failed. So that's not working. Mm -hmm. Stop the backup at this point because there's no way it should take that long. Uh, code signature does not match, so we go, we're still getting the same problem. Let's go back to the backup and let's play around and see what we're missing here. Who do backup is the name of the Bucket, that is correct. Do the two is the folder we're going to. And if I remove it, pass or subfolder in the bucket. I wonder if it doesn't take a backslash. That would be interesting. Let's try Minio and see if it connects. Nope. Access denied. It works on it. So that we know is good. Um, I don't know if this really matters in terms of how it's going to go, but everything else says the connection worked. So let's try. Oh, unexpected. Found zero file sets, but one volumes. Don't know what that means. Oh, I think it, because the folder is in use, it doesn't want to go to the same folder. Let's see. At least maybe that's the issue. Let's come here, configuration, next. And we're going to do uh, Hudu 2 files and see if test connection don't. OK, next, 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 save and run now. Wow. Uh, that is what it's supposed to look like when it goes nice and fast. Except that we don't see the folder here. Oh. OK. Now I'm confused. We have a database. We've got, did it convert the underscore into a backslash? Hmm. Hmm. This is really weird. It might have taken the underscore and did it as a backslash. Let's try one more thing. Let's just do files. Let's say files for right now. Connection worked. Next, 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 save, and let's run another backup. Notice that. Yeah, so it knows three files were there, and it says that it's not, that it's missing. OK, so we ran the repair to recreate the missing files. Oh, no, never mind. It still says that they're missing. I don't know what this repair is, Jang. Um, I guess it doesn't help that I <laughs> changed the location of the files without uh, letting it without telling about it, telling it first. Um, I wonder if I can look, here's the files folder and here's the three, here's three backups. I wonder if I can No, it's the same files. I wonder if I can move this folder. All right. I'm getting like way off track here. We did successfully get a backup done. Let's just redo this. Okay, so we're gonna come back here. I'm gonna click next. I'm gonna set this back to Hudu 2.
underscore files. I'm going to go through and save this. And we should re get all of our backups successfully. Uh, no, it doesn't like that. All right. We're going to delete the backup and start over with what we know. So we'll delete this, delete remote folders. I uh, don't care, delete everything. Okay, and let's come here. I go to files. We did not clear those out. Interestingly enough, let's delete that. Delete these. I'm going to start over. We have our database backing up. Easy panel was really simple. It worked really well. Um, the Duplicati version of the file backup is giving us a little bit more trouble. I don't think it's going to give us too much more trouble. Let's go back to object storage and let's create a new key here. We're going to revoke this one. And let's create a new access key. And we'll call it who dupli duplicati, or however you spell that, and limited access and read write to just the one bucket we're doing, create access key. Let's come back to duplicati and create a new backup. Next. So here we'll say who do files. Let's do, uh, well, let's, let's do it like this and see what happens. We're going to do no encryption. Next, we're going to go to S3 compatible. In this case, we're going to do custom server. And then again, we got the custom endpoint, which is uh, southeast-wellnotobjects.com. We got the bucket name of Hoodoo Backup, uh, I think. Hoodoo Backup, yep. We've got our access key, which we're going to throw in here. We've got our secret key, which we are going to throw in here. We're using our Amazon folder path. We're going to say files and a uh, bucket region. We're going to do custom of US Southeast dash one. Storage class, we're going to do standard and test no and connection worked. All right, let's click next. We're going to choose computer and then host is where we mounted those file folders who do attachments and images next and next and smart backup retention, save, continue that encryption, and run now. And there we go. It worked without any errors. Let's run it again. Still no errors. Very simple. You can say I saved my keys. Let's go browse our stuff. And we do not see our folder. Where, but where are our files? Um, don't want to do that. Oh, there it goes. It just took a second to appear because it should have just refreshed. Okay, got our files folder. We got our backups. We're good to go, guys. That's it. Using Easy Panel, I never touch the server again. No SSH into the server. I have a very visual management plane telling me how much disk space I have, my uptime, how much memory I'm using, CPU. If I do need to do anything like cleaning up space or logs, I can come up here under settings for Easy Panel. I can look at the easy panel logs. I can look at the traffic logs, which is what's doing like the proxying and stuff. Um, I can prune the Docker images. Uh, so if I ever run out of licenses or anything like that, I can turn on 2FA for my easy panel management itself. Um, I, here's where I configure my backups. You could technically even run multiple Docker servers with easy panel. Like that's a new feature they released is the ability to it's Docker Swarm. So they have the ability now to register additional nodes, uh, worker nodes with uh, into Easy Panel so you can manage it across multiple um, servers, essentially. Um, and that's basically it. That's that's Easy Panel for you. It's an easy management. You got the Cloudflare tunnel in. You do duplicati for your backups of your files, mounting the volumes from Hudu into duplicati so that you can do a local backup to S3 storage or to SharePoint or whatever other storage you think you need or you want to use. Um, and then you just use Easy Panel's internal backup of the database. I think Redis may have one as well. Uh, it's just cache, actually. There's no backup. Um, but any Postgres or MySQL that you have will have the ability to turn on backups. You can do enabled, custom every day, or uh, cron-specific uh, syntax. And that's basically it. It's very easy. 
that's it for the video. Uh, went a little longer than I expected, ran some issues. Um, but as you know, for my last video, I don't really care about hiding those mistakes. It's a learning experience for both myself and whoever's watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, like, subscribe, let me know. And yeah, look out for my next video. Thanks for watching.